Thank you for staying with us. Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta and opposition leader Raila Odinga finally received the Building Bridges Initiative report from the BBI Task Force. Deputy President William Ruto was also attended that ceremony that was held at State House here in Nairobi. Our senior political affairs reporter, Chris Thairu, opens up, uh, of course, uh, brings us the story on the far reaching proposals aimed at uniting the country even after an acrimonious general election. After months of speculation on the recommendations that the 14-member team of the Building Bridges Initiative Task Force will propose, finally the guesswork is over after the president, together with official opposition chief Raila Odinga, officially received the document at State House Nairobi. Present was Deputy President William Ruto and the 14 members of the BBI Task Force, as well as governors and heads of different institutions. Haya mambo tisa yote zikifatwa vile wananchi wanavyosema sina shaka ya kwamba Kenya itakuwa nchi yenye sura mpya when we come together to pull our thoughts ideas together so that we can forge um, a united front waswahili wasema ati hayawi hayawi huwa so now, this report will be unveiled tomorrow. But we say that this is not the end. It's a beginning. Because these are proposals which have come out of deliberations with some Kenyans, not all Kenyans. Engaging ni kukaha na kuongea. Engaging ni tuende mashinani. Let's talk to our farmers. My friend, what is your problem? Ninini unaona tabu hapa? Let's talk to our teachers. Let's, let's talk to our civil servants. Let's talk to our children in school. Let's talk to those young men and women who are looking for jobs. What is it you want? Yeah? Let's hear you. Let's, and then let's come together again and say, hey, unajua mimi nilisikia this here. Mimi niliona hile pali. Mimi niliona hii hapa. Besides recommending the return of the position of the Prime Minister, who will be appointed by the President, the report also proposes an executive headed by a popularly and directly elected President, and also include a Deputy President, a Prime Minister, as well as Cabinet Ministers who will cease to be referred as Cabinet Secretaries. The term limit has been retained to the present two-term limit for the position of the President. We all have ambitions. But for us to be able to achieve those ambitions, I think we can all agree, we don't want to um, achieve our individual ambitions on the altar of peace, prosperity, and stability of the people that we wish to lead. From here now, we are going to be then begin a national debate of the new Kenya. And some people are going to be free to make recommendations I have to correct some of these recommendations which have been made. Because this is a very pregnant moment. From tomorrow going into the future, we will all be focused on having a honest, democratic, inclusive, informed debate and conversation. And so as to cure the problem of governors delaying to appoint a deputy after the position has fallen vacant, the report proposes that the Speaker of the County Assembly, with the approval of the Assembly, shall nominate a deputy governor if he fails to appoint within a period of 90 days. The running mate of every candidate seeking to be a county chief should be of opposite gender. When we stop as a country to watch Kipchoge, Running. What is it? What is it and how can we put it together and make it part and parcel of our daily life? What is that when Harambe Stars is playing or when our rugby players are playing that we will put everything aside? Now we are Kenyan. Right? What is that and how can we build that and put it into all other facets of our society as a people and carry it forward? The report has also retained the 290 constituencies as well as the positions of women reps and nominated MPs. 
The report also proposes to increase resources from the central government to counties by at least 35% of the last audited accounts. What we are doing with this report that these wonderful men and women have done, we are going to use this as an opportunity to heal the wounds and to create an environment that will make Kenya peaceful, that will make Kenya prosper, that will make Kenyans feel included. The debate on recommendations proposed by the BBI task force is expected to gain momentum Wednesday morning when the president and opposition chief Raila Odinga will make the document public at a meeting in Bomas where a hundred representatives from each of the 47 counties have been invited for the public meeting. Chris Dairo, KTN News.